What is up everybody? It is technically September 4th now, 2023. We are gonna go on a very haunted little drive. The other night was scary, but I hadn't heard much about stuff being haunted over there. We're going to Holcomb Valley. We're gonna go to Wilbur's grave. It's a it's a it's a grave just yeah, it's it's it, it's kind of in above like a little bit above ground type of a grave. And uh, we might be passing the hangman's tree as well. And I'll be reading you guys a little bit of a story about these locations. So I hope you guys enjoy it. <clears throat> it's 12.15 in the morning. Uh, we got my beautiful wife and the beautiful doggies. There's the beautiful dog. She's, she's, she's exhausted. Look at them. Oh, yeah. And then also I brought my, uh, that just about a thousand dollar flashlight that I was telling you guys about you guys are not gonna believe it I hope it it comes out good on on the video but it's uh it turns night into day <laughs> it really does you bought the sun you guys I bought I the sun talked about this before yes yes other um, we did but yes we get to see the sun tonight and it's in the 40s right now it's, it's pretty cold you guys can see I'm uh, I'm wearing my Big Bear Weather and More beanie. These are the 100% fine merino wool beanies. These are the ones that I've I've been selling for a couple years. But guess what? There's a lot of merchandise coming uh, right around the first snowstorm of the season. A lot of stuff and more affordable stuff. Still super high quality stuff. But yeah, we're gonna have a lot of merchandise. So I'm super excited. Hope you guys are too. All right, cool. So right now we are on North Shore Highway 38. And we are headed to Van Dusen. We're gonna turn left on Van Dusen and go all the way up to Wilbur's grave. So basically, if you're coming from the South Shore, Big Bear Lake, all the resorts, take Big Bear Boulevard to Division Road, turn left on Division Road, and then make a, uh, make a right on this road, Highway 38, AKA North Shore, and here we go. This is Van Dusen, Van Dusen Canyon Road, Holcomb Valley, four miles. So you guys aren't gonna believe it, but I've never taken this route. So I'm a little bit nervous. We filled up the tank. I checked all, all the tires. Um, the tires seem super stable. I was a little overly worried last time, but uh, yeah, I made sure we filled up and uh, checked all the tires just in case. But yeah, I'm ready to do this. So this will be a little bit of a spooky experience. It's 4.2 miles from here. Wow, well, that's not far at all. On the dirt road, it'll seem like it's far though, because we, we gotta drive. Is it gonna be bumpy? Babe, I don't know, I just said I've, I've oh, driven yeah. on it, yeah. <laughs> I've been this probably, way before, but I don't know. Probably I bumpy. think this was maybe the way that we went when I came, I'm not sure. This is where we got turned around when we came up here to uh, do the uh, mine this when we were with Brian and because of the fire up here they turned us oh, around okay. That's, I remember that. all right road not maintained here we go. guys this, so this is the haunted side of of this valley there were a lot of murders up here because this is where the uh, our local gold rush happened um, and from people trying to, you know, rob the gold mines and uh, steal people's stakes and stuff like that, it turned into quite the Western murder situation up here. So there's a lot of hauntings up here. I've I've heard of, of what what babe? No, I was just saying watch out right there. Yeah, I'm yeah I'm totally focused there. Okay. Um, there's been a lot of sightings of apparitions up here. Um, full full body ones and uh just a lot of other scary stuff so i'm really hoping that we get a little freaked out right now but yeah this is holcomb valley this is the paranormal side of our town here so let's do this super exciting and i always feel like the entire town is a little bit eerie and me, too, me too me too something about it Sometimes yeah. early in the morning, if you 
get there just in time, you'll see the whole like fog coming up off the top of the lake, and it just looks, I don't know, it always reminds me of something like spooky out of a, like, a scary movie. Have you ever seen The Fog? It reminds me of that. Yeah, it does. So, we're not going to be going too fast on this road because I don't want to put us in any danger. And it'll give you guys a chance to really see the best that you can what we're going through. I'm glad this vehicle is lifted. Whoop, whoop. All right, keep an eye out for like a uh, Bigfoot today or something. <laughs> What's that? As I said, when we get a little bit closer, I'll tell you guys a little bit more about Wilbur's grave and Wilbur. I'm assuming way back in here, there's gonna be a few people camping because it is still Labor Day weekend. It's Sunday. Technically now it's Monday. Our town was buzzing this weekend, you guys. My goodness, it was impossible to do anything. If you wanted to, to go to the grocery store, uh, you got to go in, in like 20 minutes prior to it closing or but the crack at 6 a.m. And I'm not up at the crack, so. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to make any comments, of, uh, you know, about the road saying it's not too bad because it'll, it'll jinx us. But I just did that, didn't I? Okay, let's see here. This is the uh, the real haunted side of town. It really was the Wild West up here. It really was the Wild West. In the mid 1800s, Holcomb was up here, a, a, a little town called Bellevue, and uh, yeah, they they had every. It's a little breezy out there. They had everything from like. Uh, from saloons and uh, um, I can't remember the name of uh, the, the other type type of spots, but let's see. Want to read or here? It's kind of tricky because I, I recorded the screen, so it's constantly scrolling, and you gotta pause and stuff. Because you'd have a really nice voice to read this. But basically, Charles Wilbur was the first tax assessor in San Bernardino County. He was also a gold placer miner who lived in the area around the mid late the mid to late 1800s. And he was well liked among his fellows who lived, his fellow miners who lived in the area, and they voted for him to organize the miners in establishing boundary rocks so they could more accurately establish their claims. Before he died, he asked to be buried by his favorite pond, Wilbur's Pond, and they did as he asked. got a ways to go dude. Probably three miles. Not not too bad, but at this pace it's gonna feel like a long time. And the pond by the way is directly across the dirt road from his grave. And 
news of Holcomb's find spread quickly. By June, over 300 men were at work in Holcomb Valley. By July, that number was up to about 500, and by September, there were over 1,000 men feverishly working gold claims, hoping to strike it rich up here. There, babe, so, just uh, start right there, and then once you get there, just hit the play button until it scrolls up, and, and then pause it again. But yeah, and, and read it a little bit loud, so, so everyone can hear. And you're right, it is windy up here. <clears throat> and blacksmith shops. About that same time, two other towns also appeared in Holcomb Valley. There was Clapboard Town, located about a mile west of Bellevue, Belleville, near Pollock Canyon. About two miles northeast was Untown, which became known as Union Flat Holcomb Valley even had a brewery. Ooh. Right. Yes. Sorry, I didn't Crazy. bring my glasses. I'm so sorry. It's okay, babe. Yeah. They had a brewery up here. So the population of Holcomb Valley grew so fast that it was reported in the Star on September 1st, 1860 that it looked like Holcomb Valley would decide election matters in San Bernardino County that year. Can you believe that? Belleville residents felt strongly that the location should be right there in Holcomb Valley. When the ballots were rounded up after the election, the returns from one entire Bellevue precinct were missing. Ah, sounds familiar. As it turned out, the city of San Bernardino was picked as the new county seat by only two votes. Go figure. Yeah, I mean, guys, this was this was the, like a big town up here, and now it's literally a ghost town. Literally a ghost town. in the mining boomtown of, of Belleville was no joke. Harsh weather, hard manual labor, accidents, and fights over claims combined to make life fast, tough, and short for the, Bell, for the Belleville's population. Wilbur's grave is unique among the burial sites around Belleville. Once, once slated to be the county seat, it's marked. It's a mound of pine cones, literally smack dab in the middle of the road. The grave has become a local landmark to off-road adventurers, hikers, mountain bikers, trail runners, and, and geocatchers alike. Never heard that word before, geocatcher. Geocat, I think it's geocaching. Okay, geocacher. Um, it's where they have little hidden things and then you get um, a hidden hints. thing. Like little hidden notes or a dollar or something. There's like a hidden gem somewhere, and then you get um, hints to where these things are, and you follow it. When you find the rock, you can go in there and. Is that called like a like a treasure map? Most of them have, will have like a scroll or some paper that you can write your name on, and then you put it back. Oh, that's that's cool. Yeah, or and or you can leave something or take something depending on sometimes it's like a little box that has a bunch of little stuff in there but usually it always has something where you can write your name that's cool 
So Wilbur's grave wasn't always in the middle of the road, but people, be, but people being what they are over the years have driven on both sides of the grave, making the current road. Years ago, the, the, the grave was off to the side, somewhat protected. But yeah, the fact that people were driving kind of off road a little bit, it turned it into the main road. And yeah, so it's pretty much in the middle of the road, which is, that's pretty trippy too, guys, mm -hmm. to have this grave in, in the middle of the road. It's, uh, yeah. And we do have a few museums up here, guys, where you can learn a lot more about this stuff. Um, let's see. You know, we've got the Discovery Center, and then what's that? What's that one called over off Greenway, babe? Do you remember? It's a, another museum. Off Greenway, uh, the Bank Bear Museum? Maybe, maybe, maybe that's what it's called. Anyway, back to a little bit about Wilbur's Pond. Wilbur's Pond was lowered some time ago so it wouldn't flood the road and the road was raised. The spot used to catch people quite often trying to drive past. No one knows exactly how long that pond has been used. There is no small, there, there is a small stone dam in the area. I didn't know that either. There were about five miners who had a a placer or placer operation north of Wilbur's Pond. They had a shop loaded with tools and equipment on the site, which lasted clear into the 1960s. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. It's a long time. It's a long time. Mid, mid 1800s, all the way then. 1960s. Obviously, the, the gold rush wasn't nearly that long. It, it ended shortly after it began, but... Yeah, wait till you guys see this flashlight. You guys are going to trip out. second I'm gonna show you guys the box it comes in and everything it's it's pretty amazing hang on all right you guys so if you want to see or get yourself the most incredible flashlight ever this is what it's called the Immolent MS 18 tame the Sun it says how hilarious is that so anyway I'm gonna get it opened up right now and have it ready for our use right. thing is so heavy you guys thing is a monster. Okay, so this is this is the flashlight, you guys. The thing is absolutely ridiculous. So we're gonna set that there. No, that's I'm, I would never do that. I was worried you would do that to me, joking around. So that's why I, I wasn't gonna give you the. No way, I would never. <laughs> I've seen this thing in action, so I would never point it at anyone's face. It's dangerous. All right, guys, let's do this. People are gonna think a UFO landed, you guys. This is how bright this thing is. I mean, do you guys just want a, a quick little view of it? <laughs> just hang on a second. So I'm gonna roll down my window. I'm gonna turn off the brights and the regular lights. I'm gonna put it in park so they're all off. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of freaky okay so the regular flashlight that's the regular flashlight are you guys ready for the sun look at that dude how insane is that you guys <laughs> holy smokes <laughs> it's like uh, that light that goes off in the peewee movie where he's out in the, <laughs> in the 
in the dark and he's like, where am I? And he turns on the lights and all the mountain lions are around him. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. That's what that reminds me of. I forgot how Being bright that thing is. That's Holy. gnarly, huh? Yes, it is. So that light has like five different settings or something like that. It, it even has like an SOS mode. But when you use the full voltage, um, the the whole battery and the battery is like a like a three hundred two hundred fifty three hundred dollar battery only lasts about sixty seconds. Otherwise, this thing will last you hours and hours and hours on the regular flashlight mode. But you could hear it has a fan inside and everything like it's things no joke. Are we gonna do it again? Of course. It's like lighting fireworks. <laughs> So we got my brights on right now, which it's really lighting up this road in a beautiful way. But just real quick, I'll just overpower my brights with the double click. <laughs> Look at that, I mean, seriously. It's just, I thought that was a ghost screaming. Oh my God, that was scary. Yeah, was that the fan on yeah, the, oh yeah, yeah, it was going, oh! keeping my eyes peeled for for any type of ghostly figures or anything like that well, you just blinded them all dude uh, yeah yeah i know The road's gotten pretty, pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's pretty good over here. So let me see how far Wilbur's grave is. No, I bet it's about two miles out. Maybe a little bit more. One and a half miles. So we are getting close. And then we're going to come back out, guys, on Pollock Canyon. Pollock Canyon. Because we're going to hit up Holcomb at... At, 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 at night I wanted to capture the valley with this light just so you guys can uh, really see the valley at nighttime which is impossible unless you have the sun with you and we've got the sun so we are definitely gonna check that out okay. so I don't know if we're gonna be passing hangman's tree where, as I said, there were dozens and dozens of, of people that were hanged there. Um, and you can tell how many people were hanged there because for every branch that hanged someone, they cut that branch down after the hanging. So you can see all the stubs um, and count how, how many people. I think it was somewhere around 50 people. So yeah, I mean, I've heard, oh, you know when it comes to ghosts and stuff like that and the paranormal if if they suffered a lot that's when it, it, it can be more prevalent and clearly that's a suffering a lot of the stuff that I read said that it was murder but it is what it is And of course, I'm not gonna shine the super bright stuff on Mr. Wilbur's grave. Of course, I'm gonna show a, a lot of respect. But uh, I am gonna use the regular flashlight portion of it. So let's see if we can find it, babe, without looking at the GPS. I'm, I'm sure we'll be able to see it again guys it's in the road here like it's it's really spooky it's really eerie
Wilbur. Because the dog stepped on it. Oh, yeah. No, no. She's like, you're going to take me out at night? I'll get you. guy was the first tax assessor in San Bernardino County. Pretty crazy. And then again, we're going to be going uh, over through Holcomb Valley, of well, the main part of Holcomb Valley a bit. It's eerie as heck at nighttime, guys. It's super eerie. There's a, a couple really old dilapidated cabins i don't know if it's any of the ones from the late 1800s but i, th I think there's there's two of them and we will not be walking into them for anyone who's wondering if we're going to do that there's no way no freaking way trying to be cynical at all but these 1230 one in the morning cruises through a haunted area deep in the deep in the backwoods is uh, running into like other people even though I know it's a holiday weekend it would still trip me out a little bit just because it, 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 would, it, would, it would put me up on my guard for sure and the only weapon we have is my is the sun in my hand, and that will definitely stop someone for sure. Weapon, yeah. For sure. to be so cool and scary. What was that? No joke, babe, what was that? I don't even know. Hang on a second, let me put on the regular flashlight. Hang on, guys. That's the regular flashlight, and it's still super bright. I swear I saw something move right behind that tree right there. That one that I'm pointing directly at, I swear. Something walked right by it. Yeah, I'm not feeling that. I'm not feeling that. Just know any aberrations out here, any paranormal activity out here, just please understand that we're good people. We're not we're not here to hurt hurt anybody. We're just trying to entertain ourselves and show a bunch of people some of the the cool landmarks up here. Okay, so where do we go? Do you have the? Okay. So that looks like a. Well, oh, that. It. Yeah, that's so the pond. Remember. Yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah. Oh. Where's where's my 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 my? Oh, here it is. So we must be at Wilbur's grave or super super close. Where it says a half mile away. I think that's a... That has to be the pond, babe. Well, maybe not because it did say right across. So here, let's uh, here, babe. Push, push the uh, the the light once. That button, and then point it over there. No, that's probably not the pond. It's just a puddle of water. Okay. okay now Shut what? it off. Oh. Yeah. Thanks, baby. 
if you hold it down, it'll go to the to the main setting and blind all the animals like we've already done. So yeah, we are coming up to it. I mean, seriously, what a good road. There's a bunny wabbit. It looks oh, like. Oh, there's lots of cars here. Yeah, there's lots of cars. It oh, looks. Yeah, look at that it looks like they're camped out here next next to the grave. They probably don't even know they're camped by a grave. That's that's a great point. Wow, I've never been over here. Let's see. It says two minutes away still. Okay. And it looks like it's oh we're gonna have to take another road. I see. Okay, I see. I think. So this is where we are, right here, going to Wilbur's grave, right there. This is, I think this is still Van Dusen. It could be Holcomb Valley Road though now. <clears throat> two miles away. This is just such a trip. I have a feeling we gotta go right here. But I don't wanna get stuck. Does it say that on the map? Let's see. So we gotta. Yeah, I, th I think. Yeah, look. I think we gotta turn right here. Can you hold that, babe? different area now. It should just be right up here then if we took the right road. You don't want to go down that road. No, we didn't take the right road. Okay. So we we're supposed to go up a little bit more? Mm -hmm. I think that's Hangman's tree right there. No joke. Let me turn around and get a good look at it. I think that's it. So the mistake I just made could could be a good mistake. Guys, that that totally looks like it. That totally looks like it. Or maybe maybe not. Okay, we're going to So how much further up was 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 the road that I missed? I have a feeling this is the right road, but we'll see. It's to the right. To the right, yeah. Okay. Thanks, baby. Can you toss on your seatbelt? Oh, yeah. Give me a second. Though. Yeah, sure. Of course. The ghost did it for you. You guys hear that as soon as I said it? A big what? Like it's like a dent, a big dent in here. A big dent. You're looking at yourself, Luna. Don't scare me, you freak. She's looking at her own reflection and growling. I think. I don't think so. Maybe. Luna, what are you growling at? She can't talk. I wish she could tell us. <laughs> She's gonna do the Scooby-Doo point. Yeah. <laughs> We're over there. Raggy? <laughs> Here's the road. This has got to be the road. 
Is this a rope? No. Oh, it's not, huh? Okay. If it shows that we passed it, then I know that we need to go back to that one road that, that I went on first. Let's see here. Oops. Okay, so we gotta keep on going. It said one minute away, like three minutes ago. Unreal. Great. Now I'm not getting good phone service to be able to. Oh, come on. Patch up, patch up, patch up. Look at that arrow. Yeah, I was just noticing that. Where's that go? To the right. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Stay off that road. Okay. This is this has got to be it. Mhm. Mm yes, I think so. Okay. Yeah, I think this is it. I think so too. Mm -hmm. But that's what I said on the last road. No, but this looks like what I saw on the map. Uh, I, okay. All right. Just a trip. How oh, it's gonna be in the kind of in the middle of the road here. Do you see anything there? Right it, it's gonna be up here on the left-hand side, apparently. When I looked at the map. Guys, this is crazy. These are a lot of spots I've, I've never even traveled through in the eight and a half years that I've been driving around this town. Oops. Campers. I lost phone service, you guys, so my GPS isn't really that helpful right now. Let's see. There are a lot of people. Oh, there, there it is. is. There it is. We found it, guys. This is going to be a creepy, creepy. Oh, my gosh. Okay, we're going to... Gonna turn, turn here, turn around. But we found it, guys! Yay! I don't want to get anywhere near it driving. I don't want to disturb him too much. Okay. You ready to hop out, babe? No. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. I'll be here. Okay. All right, guys. Sorry, it's dark. This is Wilbur's grave. Rest in peace, Mr. Wilbur. I'm not trying to be a pain in the butt. It's just you are someone who is considered very, very special around here. Someone covered up the cross with that shirt. I don't like that. But I'm not going to move anything. What a trip, guys. This is this is a grave right here.
Hey, babe, can you shut off the car? I didn't think how that could be disrespectful. I don't wanna. Cool. She's trying to scare me. I'm not gonna fall for it. God rest your soul, man. Thanks for allowing us to cruise up here and find you and show you off to everyone on this channel who hasn't gotten to gotten acquainted with you yet. It's just so sad that you're in the middle of the road here. You deserve a much better burial, but this is exactly where you wanted to be buried and they abided by, by your wishes. So let's see here. It's right, right across here, the pond. It's, but, oh yeah, it's right over there. See it? I think, let me turn on the light. <laughs> Hang on guys, let me turn on the bright light here. I hope there's no one camping right there because they're going to be so mad. I don't see a pond. Yeah, that's crazy, huh, babe? All right, Mr. Wilbur. Okay, babe, can you start the car? Por favor, mi amor. All right. We gotta save the rest of the light for Holcomb, for the main part of Holcomb Valley. No, no, we'll do that a separate time because we might have to go into some really bad parts of the road to get there. Okay, well, we'll do it next time, babe. Yes. Yeah, but he, he'd have no idea what they are because they didn't have anything like that back then. I don't even think in the mid-1800s they had radio, so. All right, so. We are going to start, we're going to head back. It's just such a trip. There it is. Thanks again, Wilbur. Rest in peace, man. The guy is a hallmark for San Bernardino County. accomplished the mission but now we're going to be going to an area where I am always creeped out actual Holcomb Valley and then we are going to head out I'm going to keep us recording um, so you guys can kind of I'm sure you're not going to be able to follow all these different roads that we end up taking but some of you might that's another reason why I like just constantly recording not doing really much much editing like I've told you all, you, what you see is what you get with this channel. Um, you see everything that happens. Are you getting cell phone service? Yeah. Okay, good. How far is is Hangman Street? It's, I'm trying to see, but it's it, not. There's not really like a dirt, you know. It took me a while. I found it, but yeah. All right. I mean, guys, that is just such such a trip. Hey, it says Holcomb Valley this way. Is that right, babe? If it says it, yeah. A quarter That's mile. Right. I was gonna turn right. Thank goodness for that sign. Oh, there's even a little sign that says Wilbur's grave. grave. Mm. 
You know what? Let's back up so we can show everybody that yeah. sign. Turn on my lights for the back here, so I can see backing up. Hang on, guys. Luna, you are just digging your paw right into my thigh. All right, babe. Can, can you get your dog away from the window? Just so I'm out of here. All right. So that is the sign you'll see up here. Wilbur's grave, Arctic Canyon. Okay, pretty cool, pretty cool. All right. I do see cars up here, so I don't want to blind them while they're trying to sleep. But hey, we're on a spooky, creepy mission right now. It only said a quarter mile, right, babe? Uh, yeah. That's a trip, how, how super close it is. I'm hoping there's not too many people over by Holcomb. I'm sure there are gonna be a few cars camped out. So I'm not gonna be able, obviously, I'm not gonna shine my light at anybody, you guys, but I want you guys to see the real truth of this light and what it provides, because there's gonna be a huge open valley it's, it's probably one of the most beautiful spots in this whole mountain range, guys. It's It feels like you're in a different mountain range. It's just, it's gorgeous. But like I said, at night, it is spooky, spooky, spooky. Okay, do you see any signs, baby? No. Okay. Oh, so, she's really digging her paw into my thigh. What's that sign say right there? Oh, to go gold mine or shovels and picks are that way. Sweet. Yeah, there's actually, I think, a little business up here. Um, that rent stuff out like that, I think. Shelly's something. I wish we had some food, some, some restaurants open down, down in town. Oh, I know. It's such a bummer. This town has like nothing late. Literally not one place. Can you think of anything besides 7 Eleven? No, babe. <laughs> so there's some campers out here. Yeah, there's quite a few campers Pretty out brave. here. Pretty brave. It's cold out here. It's, yeah, guys, look, it's 43 degrees. It's definitely... My nose is cold. Here, let's, let's turn this on a little bit for you, babe, okay? Thanks. You're welcome. Oh, another there bunny. There's the bunny. He's like, I'm late. I'm late for a oh. very important date. So, so this is the Holcomb Valley Campground. I've, I've, I've heard about it. But I'm wondering... Here. I just want to make sure. Let's see, I'm getting like semi service right here, so it's not showing me the whole map. Oh, yeah, this is where we came from because we ran through the water. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, oh. I'm, I'm not trying to go where we came from, oh. I'm trying to get to Holcomb. I kind of feel like I, I, I need to go that way, but... That's where we... That's from my memory. Where we came from. Yeah, 
but I'm, I'm not trying to go back where we came from. Right? I know. Oh, oh. This is not... Yeah. This, is the, this road would be... A, a different one? Yeah. Okay. Thanks, baby. This is why I'm glad I filled up. I see a road closed sign up ahead. Yeah, this is definitely getting creepier. Okay, because I can't see out there, we're gonna have to do the just to, to kind of get my get my bearings. Ooh. There goes big flake. Ooh, that fan freaks me out every time. Oh, it's really? actually not closed. Yeah, that's the three N O five. I think. Oh man, babe, can you can you please pull up your 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 phone on the. And then look for Holcomb Valley. Maybe it's my. Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna try to turn off the internet in the car real quick. Yeah, babe, this isn't where I want to go. This is horrible. It's gonna get really, really bad right there. Okay, I've got my map pulled up here. Where are we? We're going the wrong way. Hang on a second. Let me find Pollock Canyon. Hang tight, guys. All right, guys. So we did go the wrong way. But we're not too far. But we got to pass all those people again. Dang it, babe. That's okay. I know. I just don't want to bug these people. They're trying to sleep, but... It is, a, it is a national forest and it is open 24 hours a day. It's not like we're playing our rap really loud. Dang kids. There she goes. Because of my voice. Oh, talk about like that, huh? Right there, dog? Right? Yeah, you don't like that sound, huh? I think she's looking at this. I'm going to turn down this road and kind of just turn around right here. Earlier behind that tree, I'm, I'm still tripping out on what the heck that was. I know I wasn't just seeing, like that, that wasn't like a, a just seeing something. There was, there was definitely something there. All right, so make sure, okay, now we're pointed in the right direction. Fantastic. So you guys see, this is what's awesome about our channel is that you get to, you know, do all the mistakes with us. <laughs> but keep your eyes peeled, you guys, for anything that looks kind of out of the ordinary. So if I miss something, you guys can point it out to me you guys did that on the 2n10 drive that we did about a week ago um, someone pointed out a figure moving um, in, in, like in between a couple trees and I went to that part and by golly there was something but I don't know what it was it looked like a humanoid figure but it it, it was gone I know we're not going here, but yeah, you don't want to, you don't want to get stuck in there. I'm surprised there's not a, a lot more frogs jumping around in there. That's a, that's a good, yeah, good oh, observation. Luna, she's falling down the edge. It, it, it's, <laughs> is she okay? Yeah. Did you grab her? Yeah. She fell into the door pocket. <laughs> <laughs> she is a door pocket. Aren't you loonies? 
loonies. Okay, so everyone here at this park, forgive me, this is our last time coming through. <laughs> I know, right? Like, Jesus, find a spot already. And I've got like super loud, annoying exhaust. You should just do the train horn, babe. No way. You're <laughs> out of your mind. You're yeah. out of your mind. I'd have to pay for everyone's new pair of underwear because <laughs> they would literally release all their bowels. <laughs> See, that would be so scary. <laughs> when I first moved, moved up here, guys, I may have done that. Not not right here, but once we got kind of far away where I didn't see anybody, but I'd know they could hear it. I might honk it, but... No, you guys have taught me how to be more mature, more grown up, more responsible. And uh, yeah, I don't want to ruin someone someone's good time here. Let's, uh, let's see what we we got. Over, over, I mean, look, just like how trippy that looks. But let's see here. Oh my gosh! Come on, that's the regular light. Okay, nothing special. So we got how much further to the to where I pinned it? One, Seven minutes. Okay. So when when you see we got to turn left, can you just remind me just in case I'm not paying attention? Yeah. Thanks, baby. Here's another. That's where we came from right mm -hmm. now. So we gotta go straight through here? Um, that's what it shows here, yeah. So guys, these big divots here, these things get this deep in the wintertime with water. And you will definitely be floating through here. Not, you, you'll, you'll have, most, most of us will have no chance getting through there. Because th these get so flooded. And then right here also gets super flooded. I know this because I've, I've, I've seen pictures and on Pollock Canyon Road, they have a few of these, but they aren't quite as bad. But you can still lose complete control of your vehicle and start floating on on, on Polik or Pollock Canyon. Polik. In the winter time, this side isn't usually closed off. Um, so it's it, I've I've been up here in in the winter time, and it, it's it's really at your own risk, at your own peril because it's going to be hard for emergency crews to, to get back here, especially tow trucks and stuff like that. Thankfully, this side of the mountain range doesn't get as much snow as the other side where we live, or well, of the Big Bear area. This side of our mountains doesn't get as much snow. Even though we are at a higher elevation up here, I think we're close to like 7,500 up here. There's that arrow again, babe. See it? Or is that the is that a different one? Uh, I think no, that's that's the same, the same one. one, huh? What a, what a trip! It's like Groundhog Day. All right, so yeah. let, me, let me look at that. To the left, huh? Because this is where we went. Yes, to the right is where we yeah. went. Great. Okay, this is looking not too awesome. But we're gonna make it, no problem. Hope you guys are enjoying the cruising with us and hanging out with us tonight. I'm definitely enjoying doing this with you guys. My wife was so tired, but guys, she's she's so supportive. She she got up even though she has to work in the morning. I have to start work at, at around 10, but so, so does she. Why did I choose to come up here? It's all right, I'll figure it out. So basically we came up 
on one street, as I told you guys, Van Dusen, and we're gonna be going down Pollock Canyon. So we basically went from like Big Bear City all the way down near Fonskin. We're gonna be coming out near Fonskin, just shy of Fonskin when you're on North Shore. But yeah, what's this say? So what are we on right now? Just to make sure. Um, preview route. Okay, let's see. Can we zoom in? There we go. We are on Holcomb Valley Road. And then we're going to be turning left up here on 2N09. And as you guys remember, a week ago we took the 2N10, which is on the other side. I'm starting to get a feeling like it's odd and even numbers for the, the different sides of the lake. Imagine if, if we had to, to get out and, and like walk walk to safety through here. I think I'd probably pass out. Ooh, that scared me. That scared, yeah, that scared me too. Food. Oh, we got those pizzas at home, babe. What pizza? The frozen ones, those small ones that you bought for me. I'm so thirsty. Those you have to make in the oven. I, I know. I'm down. I didn't mean to turn on the super bright one, but it turned on. Look at there's a plane up there. Guys, I'm I'm telling you, we have the coolest backyard up here. Like all of Big Bear is a backyard. <laughs> okay, we turn left here. Mm -hmm. Let me just make sure because let me zoom out real quickly. Because okay, you know what? We actually want to go right because Holcomb's right there. Yep. That's all. So yeah, for us to leave, we'll be making a left, but we're gonna make a right. I'm glad I saw that, man. At least I think this is the right thing to do. Does this seem right, man? Ooh. guys hang tight I'm gonna instead of just parking and, 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 and keeping you guys I'm gonna turn it off for a quick second okay you guys I think this is right how you doing on the heat honey it's good good I love these these sea farmers I really wish my car had a I know that's great on my back yeah totally 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 I thought that sign said hep C but it's Wepsi, W-E-P-C. Look at that cool little tree. That cute little tree. It's gonna be a monster someday. <laughs> I mean, it, I'm assuming what I was looking at is Holcomb Valley. So if my assumption is wrong, then hopefully we don't get snatched up by some some shadow people. Because I don't want, you know, give me some pizza first. 
then we can talk about getting abducted by some shadow people. But until I've had some pizza tonight, I'm not down for that. You are quite the little ninja turtle, aren't you? Michelangelo, babe. <laughs> I'm the world's most fearsome fighting team. <laughs> when the evil shredder attacks. Luna is a little ninja turtle too. When we first moved She's up a here, gremlin, babe. Yeah, when we first moved up here, um, I was, oh my gosh, I was so tight on money. And we just got rented the, the house up here. And we had no food, so we lived off of pizza. I bring home pizza every day from Domino's. Yep. Couldn't even afford to buy Luna dog food. She was eating pizza too. That's horrible, babe. I know. It didn't last long. I have a feeling we're coming up to Holcomb on the left hand side now. Yeah, those of you who don't know, my wife's cousin uh, owned Domino's up here for many years and just sold it recently. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see here. Oops, there's cars. I didn't mean to shine it at the cars. But yeah, we are at Holcomb Valley now. We made it. So this whole area is Holcomb Valley. We're just gonna kind of go, I, I know you guys can't see what I'm pointing at. To the left here is Holcomb Valley. What I'm gonna do is, uh, just so I don't irritate anybody, go down a little further so the side of the beam doesn't catch any of those campers out there. But we're just we're not gonna go too far in. We're just gonna I'm just gonna do this for a second. And I'm gonna hop out. You wanna hop out with me, babe? If if you're scared, I totally understand because I'm freaking out right now. I just it's just I have slippers on, so there's the excuse, guys. I got the slippers on. I do have slippers on, guys. Slipper so sock slippers actually. Actually, and I don't want the ghost to steal them, so. All right, guys, so we're gonna keep her light on right here. You know what, I'm, I'm gonna face the center of the road so I'm not getting these campsites at all. There we go. All right, now you guys are gonna really get to see what this incredible light does. Let me shut this, baby. Okay. Turn on the regular part of it. Hang on, guys. Okay, so this is the regular, regular light. This is beautiful Holcomb Valley. It's so huge, guys. It's so beautiful. There was a nice big town, town up here. My dog scared, scared me. All right, ready for the super bright? And you can see the mountains over there. Oh, shoot. Just remarkable. Okay, and that's the regular light right there. Guys, this is such a beautiful area. So much history here. But I know I talk a lot, you guys. I'm just really excited and really nervous to be here. I've had really bad dreams, guys, of being stuck up here. Oh shit, what is that? Okay, I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Let's just do this, this, this road, road real quick. Hey, look at how bright that is. It really is daytime in an otherwise really dark evening. What do you guys think of that light, huh? Pretty insane-o in the brain-o. Insane in the brain! Insane in the brain, oh, got no brain on the scene. 
All right, guys, hang on a second. Got to use the little boy's room. I'll be right back. Hang on. All right, you guys, I'm back. So that is Holcomb Valley. I know it was really, really hard to see a lot, but it's a big, beautiful valley. You can see the mountains on the clear other side of the valley, which is just such a trip that this flashlight works like that. All right, babe, can you, uh, you have my phone? My other phone, honey, buddy? Here. Thanks, baby. Okay, so this is gonna take us where we need to go. I, I think we just stay on this, as far as I'm concerned. Hey babe, can you do me a huge favor? Mm. Could you hold this camera just like that? With, yeah, on that, that, that side, yeah, perfect. A little more, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so what I want to do is, again, just turn off the headlight. Guys, I know I'm just too excited about this flashlight, but I'm gonna turn off the headlights real quick and then put on the flashlight again so you guys can just see. Okay, this is, headlights this is <laughs> the flashlight it's a handheld flashlight you guys i just turned off the car lights as you can see isn't that just a trip <laughs> looks like daylight it really does I bought an extra battery for this thing, and I don't, uh, I, I gotta find it somewhere. I've, I live in such a tiny little shack, it shouldn't be too hard, but I've collected so much stuff in the eight and a half years that I've lived here. And uh, having one of these extra batteries is very, very important. But as I said, you only get about 60 seconds for the whole humongous battery. It's, it's it, and, and the battery weighs a ton. 60 seconds when you're using the maximum output. Again, when you use the regular output, you get, geez, maybe, maybe like 10 or 12 straight hours. What the heck is that? I swear I just thought I saw something running at the car. And then when I looked back, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't there anymore. Yeah, babe, I'm, I'm ready to get out of here. This is, this is too much for me. I'm trying not to be a total wuss, but some of this stuff's kind of getting me right now. And I think my mind's playing tricks on me too because I'm, I am scared. My, it's, my mind's creating things. They're just illusions and delusions. Mostly delusions. But yeah, right now we're, we're still on Pollock Canyon Road, you guys. take this all the way down till we get to highway 38 so we did a nice Holcomb haunted tour Tribe, does 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 your family have a connection to Ben? Which Indian tribe? Which Native American tribe? Um, 
because you used to always go out to to that reservation when, when I first met you you, you you showed me a few videos of, of, of that man kind of chanting to oh, the fire he's camping in fire uh, well, they're part of the Red Wind Foundation. Is that what you're asking me? I'm asking what, what, like Apache or, um, you know, like what, which Native Americans is it? Oh, I think it's like the Sayoc Indian or something like that. Okay, okay, that's so cool. That is so cool, babe. Guys, this road is freaking. All tattered up. Let's see what's going on over here. I just keep keep thinking like, oh my gosh, like what if we got stuck out here? I know there's a lot of people camping right now, but so that makes me feel a little more comfortable. But guys, usually it's empty up here. Like it is empty and very scary. But I think subconsciously knowing that there's some people up here is making me feel a little better in case we did get stuck. I don't know if you guys can tell or if you can feel the energy up here. I'm sure you can't, but I'm telling you guys, it's 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 mighty hairy up here. Heroes in a half shell, turtle power. saw something flying right there to our left. I would point over here, but you guys can't see anything over here. That looked pretty big too. Can you, can you do that for me, my love? She's my zen operator. Zen operator. I don't want you breaking your nails though, so. child but I want to do the headlight thing again I'm not going to turn off the headlight this time but I'm just going to turn on the extra brights <laughs> oh my gosh like that's ridiculous guys see these things flood out completely right there too and if you get caught in there you're you're going to have a rough time in the winter time or anytime there's flooding up here and then the regular light see how it, it's nothing compared to that super this one wow that's, that's so cool it really is isn't that that's, a, that's so amazing I wish we could have that light on the whole drive I thought maybe it came with a, a car charging thing but the reason why I don't think you can have it on long is, is also because of the heat it can't be good for the heat to be prolonging on those those LEDs like that too or whatever it is I don't know I, I don't know what it is I just know as I said with tax and everything for this and the extra battery it was, it was just 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 a, just over a thousand bucks 
for a flashlight, guys. I know I'm a total tool. But for those of you who like extreme things like that, thank you. Because I know a lot of people will definitely give me some, some gooba for buying something so stupid. And yes, it's not like I can afford it either, but I've had it maybe four years now. And uh, I don't know, when I get down and out on life sometimes, I'll put something on my credit card as a temporary solution for a long-term problem. Kind of kind of like medicating myself, but with, with shopping. And I hate it because I'm super, super broke. Look at, look at this here to the right. It's like a, a, a big ravine in this road. But babe, I can't believe we found Wilbur's grave. We did it. I'm really proud of us. I can't I can't get out of here fast enough I'm really tripping out because of all the stories that I read and all the people that were murdered right here it's just yeah I've always wanted to believe in the paranormal I've always wanted to believe in that type of stuff it's just so hard for me because I have to see something and I try to watch all these YouTube videos that talk about paranormal stuff and nothing has been convincing yet. I'm more convinced listening to to someone oh, I thought that was a snake. To someone who thinks that or listening to someone who's very just seems like they're full of integrity and uh, just solid people when when they've told told me stories these are people that I know wouldn't lie to me for any reason. So that's that's when I get even more more tripped out when when like someone actually of stature and respect tells me something. That's when I believe it. But I would really like to see something. I thought I saw something earlier on our way up right behind that tree. I think the road gets, it, it turns into a paved road up here in just a moment, if I remember. Holy smokes. Look at that, babe. That's a bad part of the road. Holy moly. That, made, that, that makes me wonder if we are going the right way. You alright, baby? You okay? Yeah. It's only paved for like 100 yards. Maybe not even that that much. What's this guy doing? Camping. He's trying to get tolls. It's a troll. A toll troll. get to this part of this road right here this paved section that I know we're not too far from getting the heck out of here ugh, ugh. keep an eye guys on how short this paved path is Brian told us when we did that gold mine tour Brian told us why it's it's so short and what the use was but I completely forgot This is smooth operator. It's a 
little more than 100 yards. I know, I know. I know, my love. Here we go. Back to dirt. And if you guys remember, I think it was April, Rachel and I tried to come up this road and I thought I was gonna make it, but maybe about a hundred yards in front of us here, maybe a little bit more. The snow was so deep and we were almost stuck. So I had to back out of this. I'll show you approximately where, where we got stuck. There, it was so deep. And this was the first winter that I ever had any issues. Even with a lot of other like foot and a half to two and a half foot storms, this car with its lift and when I have the, my winter snow tires on, just gets through everything. Like it's such a beast. I've never used tire chains ever up here. And I've been successful until last season. But actually no I didn't get stuck anywhere but our driveway I got some scary moments but I got out here's where where we got stuck coming the other this other direction right here and there was nowhere for me to turn around I couldn't see if there was uh, some sort of a ditch on on, on the left side here I, I knew there's a fall off over here on the right yeah it was it was scary and, and the snow was so deep and and kind of icy and slushy at the same time that it kept on pushing my car towards towards this edge as we're backing out and it, yeah it was it was a hairballing experience i have it all in video and I just man, I think I was sweating a lot more than she was which feels good that meant, meant that she had confidence that I would get us out time you guys I got stuck oh no that's right so not with my new cars but when I first moved up here I took I was driving a 500 an ML 500 Mercedes it was maybe 10 or 12 years old at the time and I, I took it up here and there was a bunch of snow and I drove further than we were just now in Holcomb Valley and I got stuck and I couldn't get out I had to walk in freezing weather by myself and it was getting close to sunset, but I made it all the way out here a couple hours later. Um, down to the, the main road to get help. And the tow truck guy didn't want to come up here, but he ended up coming up here and helping me out. And I think he tried to charge me like 600 or 700 bucks. I'm like, dude, I don't have that much money. So I, I think he, he he gave me a break. Don't don't think I was ever gonna stiff someone, you guys. Like, uh, um, I had told him worst case, I you know I'll have to call someone to borrow a credit card for the extra money. And he was like, no, it's cool, man. But yeah, I told him up front I only had 200 cash, and it wasn't even on me. It was at my house, so. He had to be trust, like really trusting me. But yeah, that, that was a very scary experience. Speaking of scary experience, let's uh, take a look in this little canyon area. 
after all the dust settles. That's our regular light. That's not the super bright light. Once we get down a little closer towards the lake, I'd like to do a quick bright shot across the lake. Guarantee you guys, you'll, you'll be able to see all across, across the whole lake. Guys, I'm so excited. I am so excited. I love the holidays. This this Thanksgiving, I, I get my mom because she she gives me Christmas and then the next year Thanksgiving because I have a big falling out with a lot of my siblings. So she'll come up here and spend every other holiday up here with us. And this year, if we don't have any snow forecast, then I'm gonna take my mom to go be with my wife's family for Thanksgiving. Oh. What, what, what did she do? She's just trying so hard to stay on my lap that she'll like dig her paws oh. in to try to hold them up. Kind of like a cat, but it's not the same. going to be doing a kayaking video guys in the next week or two and also we're going to take the 2n10 again but during the daytime so those of you who uh got the nighttime footage can see what, how beautiful it is during the day and we'll do this this drive again during the daytime as well this is a, a as i said holcomb valley is so incredibly beautiful first time I saw it I was thinking oh my gosh you could have a, a big town right here and it would be so perfect why why don't they do that why why haven't they paved the road all the way up there and that was before I knew that there was a gold rush up here I didn't know any of the history of this town I just moved here for the snow that's it I didn't move here for the mountains for the lake for the people for the ski resorts nothing just for the snowfall because when I'm in snowfall and in a snowy environment, it takes away all my depression for some reason. I don't know why, but it, it really does. It works wonders on me. And then obviously, once you start residing in certain areas, you wanna learn a little bit more about your surroundings and what goes on and what happened and how it happened. So yeah, I've, I've there's a, a lot of history that, that I've learned. So what we're looking at through there, you guys, is uh, the other side of the lake. Those lights. Oh, look at this. We're gonna take this super, super slow. Okay, we made that super gnarly part. And we are almost, I think, to the end, I think.
again, we're on Polique Canyon Road. I think it's P-O-L-I-Q-U-E, I believe. Is that right, babe? Mm-hmm. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Because I don't, well, you know, it sounds 100%. I just want to make sure that we give them the right names. P-O-L-I-Q-U-E, right? Mm -hmm. That Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. I'm just going to double check just to make sure. Let me just zoom in real quickly. California section C. I'm pretty sure it is Polik. Okay, yes, here's the... It's P-O... L I Q U E. Yep, Pulley Canyon. And again, you reach Pulley Canyon when you're in Big Bear off of North Shore, off of Highway 38. It's maybe a mile past the Discovery Center on the right hand side. Actually, you can only turn one way off of Highway 38 for Pulley Canyon. So I hope you guys give this a shot. I think you guys will really, really enjoy it. Do it during the daytime first so you can kind of see your surroundings. At least that's my suggestion. And who knows, maybe someday I'll get insured to be able to take you guys on tours and stuff like that. I think that would be kind of cool to have like the Big Bear Weather and More tours up here. What do you think, babe? Yeah. Totally. Sounds like adventure. It certainly does. I'm so excited to get out of here. <laughs> I'm already falling asleep. Uh-oh. Try to stay awake if you can, baby. That's what I want, babe, right there. That's what we, we really want. Yeah, I can't believe I walked this far in freezing weather to get help. And I think I was using AT&T back then and I didn't have any phone service over it. It was, it was bad. It was bad. I was really concerned. But I knew I had to get out before dark. But I had no idea that it was a haunted area. So I'm, you know, I'm thankful for that because that would have been really wearing on my mind a lot more too.
Good riddance, Holcomb. Good riddance. Like, guys, I just wish you could feel the feeling that I was feeling in there. It was like a distressed feeling. Like someone was watching me. And that feeling is just about completely gone. Stanfield cutoff so you see how close it is and then we will be done so if you make a right guys you're going to Fonskin if you make a left here on North Shore Highway 38 you are going to Big Bear Lake in Big Bear City this light looks on Big Bear Boat or on North Shore. Oh my gosh. Look at how awesome that is. Feels like we're flying, huh? We're only going 37, 36 miles an hour. But it feels like we're flying because we've been going so slow. So yeah, guys, again, we just turned left onto North Shore, AKA Highway 38 over here. And uh, most of you who watch know Stanfield Cutoff by now, at least those long-term watchers, viewers, I should say. And I want you to see how, how close that Pulley Canyon entrance is. So we started off on Van Dusen and went all through the Holcomb area and came out on Pulley Canyon. To the left is the Discovery Center. You can't see it. It's two in the morning. Babe, we made it out alive. We made it out without uh, any uh, change of underwear. So that's, I'm proud of myself for that. When we get an opening, real quick, I just want to hop out, like an opening where we can see across the lake so I can do the flashlight one last time for you guys. you guys are seeing where I'm pointing that's the other side of the lake Stop sign is Stanfield Cutoff. Since it's my wife's side where the lake is, I'm not going to shine the light in that direction. I'll shine it to the left. 
left where the marsh is. The wildlife area. Okay, see we're at Stanfield Cutoff. We're you know you're you're not far when you go in, into those hills. Not at all. It's nice knowing you're you're this close to town. Okay, let's see here. Try the heat for you for a sec, babe. flashlight over there and super bright <laughs> oh my god oh battery died hey at least we got one, one more shot and then whatever you can see of the lake right there let me just just for a second hey buddy Thank you guys. I, I love you guys a lot. And uh, please like and subscribe for us. That would be awesome. We we put a lot of time and, and effort into it. And if you feel like we've earned it, I'd really appreciate that. And yeah, let's just uh, say, say, say goodnight, my love. Good night, everybody. My baby's falling asleep. Yes, I'm tired, but thank you for watching. And like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you guys have any suggestions or, or you know you're familiar with this area and you want us to maybe do something else that's haunted it's that season so we're we will consider it absolutely thanks babe all right guys well thank you for everything and i will chat with you guys later i hope you enjoy the video i really hope you enjoy the video once again i wish you could have felt what i was feeling up there <laughs> peace out you guys it's September 4th, 2023. I love you all. Hey, I know we just said goodbye, but there's a huge pack of coyotes. Going that way. Left? Yeah. See them all? Oh, yeah. The distance. Oh, there's yeah. one, two, there's one Three, crossing the street. Four. Hey, buddy, where are you going? Sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Yeah, they are going there. They're just chilling. Oh, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at guys. I'm not trying to scare you guys, but <laughs> I know I'm totally scaring you guys. Then look at the, t the coyotes. <laughs> poor, poor little coyotes. Hey guys! <laughs> oh, don't be scared. <laughs> Alright, that's a nice little ending to the video, you guys. Love y'all. Wow, there's a bunch of them. Mm -hmm. Peace out. Love y'all.